Hello, this is Chris Joseph, Blue RV in beautiful Duluth, Minnesota. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. Behind me, newly arrived, is our brand new 2024 Coachman Entourage 330DS Super C Motorhome. We're sure on the outside, show the inside, see what you guys think. So first, I don't know if you can see there on my little video board, but we're in Duluth, Minnesota. Two and a half hours due north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. It is November 14th. It is, come on, show us, show us, show us, 58 degrees. Thanksgiving's next week. Look at that, there's still green grass. Now, granted, this is all going to turn to snowmageddon here pretty soon, and that would be perfect reason to come and take this bad boy home. Here it is on the International Chassis Diesel four-wheel drive Super C with the Maven full body paint. Look at that front end. I mean, who's going to get in your way besides a deer or a moose? And either way, you'll take them right out. Look at that thing. Beautiful front cap, LED lights there, in case it loses at the campground. Two slides on this coach. You're going to have rims here, not hubcaps, so alloy rims. Got the nice running boards for getting up into the coach. Huge, look at that. LED lit, lit power awning that goes pretty much the full length of the coach. LP tank there. Storage clean outside TV for watching your favorite team especially if you decide to go south it's a game where it's warm instead of where it's cold once again more storage here you're gonna have LP quick connect right there in case you want to bring your own favorite Coleman or Blackstone grill just tuck it right in there hook that up it's tied right to the LP tank no more bringing along extra Additional propane tanks. Backup camera, of course. Seven way plug down here. Here's your hitch. And this is a 14,500 pound hitch. Pull a really nice and close trailer with that. Two ACs on the roof, two max air vents covers, one in the bedroom, one in the front over the, the bed, uh, the, the cab front. Slide awnings to protect the top of those slide outs. More storage here. Once again, you'll never complain about too much storage. Motion sensor lighting right there. Two diesel tanks, both on the driver's side. Here are your valves where you dump your tanks. And then your hose right down through there. The little cover comes right off. Tankless on-demand water heater. More storage. Once again, who's ever going to complain about that? Nobody. Even here, if they tuck a little compartment right in here, it's a different shape, but you'll find something to hide in there. No question about it. More storage. Sitting right up here is your diesel generator. 5,500, I'm sorry, correct that LP generator on this one. Runs out the propane tank. Right, let's work our way around and we'll take a look inside. Electric step, house battery underneath here, battery disconnect and light switches right when you come in the door. Auto leveling, hit a button, walk away, can't beat that. Look at this, let's see here, take off one of these. Oh yeah, size 13s will fit in there. You don't have to worry about me coming with, but just so you know. And then, when you walk in the door, storage, place for your phones, purse, gear, more storage there. And here we go. Red LED accent lighting, counter extension, here's your stainless steel sink, storage underneath, oven range, microwave. Once again, two ACs ducted through the entire coach. This makes into a C-shaped dinette. If you want, you can take this cushion right here. Toss that right there. Slide that in for a little bit more room. Here's that cab over we were talking about. Automotive style, automotive style window there. 
with exhaust fan fan there to take air out, bring air back in. Got theater seating there. TV right across in there, which is so nice. So you're not uh, breaking your neck trying to turn and look at the TV. There is solar on the roof. It'll trickle charge the batteries on board. Well, let's see. This is. Let me see if this has the same as many as last one. So check this out, guys. Okay, see that? Obviously, you've got your nice 12 volt fridge, right? Okay, wonderful. Now, let's say I'm coming out of the shower, which once again is a huge shower with a skylight. Look at this. Mind blowing. The door opens from either way. How many times has someone said, I don't want that door to open that way? Guess what? You don't have to worry about it either way. That is awesome. You have a pocket door that closes off this area right here. Another one right there. Here's your monitor panel. Tells you levels of your tanks. Okay. Generator start. This is the... Uh, um, the, uh, the panel for your uh, on-demand water here. I'll get that out sooner or later. Obviously, light switch is there. Let's just step in the shower real quick. So, I'm just over 6'2". Once again, I'm not coming with, as you can see. I got plenty of room to get clean in here. Right over here to the smelly side. A little 12-volt fan up in there. At least you got some counter space here for your shaver, for your toothbrush. Nice place for linens. Towels, washcloths. Here we are into the bedroom. You can sit up at night and read if you want. Otherwise you get the power bed. You can bring this down, sit at whatever angle you want. But more importantly, that has to come in actually for the slide to come in so you don't hit here. Put that back up. Some nice overhead storage, nice and deep, all the way across. Look at this, hers and hers closets. I think in my family, I'd probably get that bottom drawer right there. Feel nice and deep. Plenty of room to bring stuff with, whether it's a weekend, or whether it's six months down south, washer, dryer. Combination. So you can see one of these drawers. Full extension, ball bearing drawer glides. Got his and her reading lights either side. Cell phone chargers right down there. What's nice too, there's no carpet. If you want carpet, put throw rugs down. You always just throw them out the door, shake them out. Nice and easy, but in the meantime, and this isn't uh, colored by the way. It's just, there you go, much better. Get rid of that. Here's your uh, expanding ladder for that front bunk up there. Nice and bright in here too. It's not the brightest of days, but it feels very bright, very open. Just a ton of coach here. Whether you want to leave south from the snow uh, with a nice four-wheel drive option, or if you want to go out west to the dunes, not worry about getting stuck in the sand. If you want to pull that big enclosed trailer, or a huge SUV, even on a regular flatbed trailer, this is the coach for you with, like I said, over 14,000 pounds of towing capability. Plus the torque of this diesel. I mean, this thing's a beast. It's ready to go. And the snow is coming. Once again, this is Chris here at Bullion RV in Duluth. Once again, for those of you who don't know where Duluth, Minnesota is, if you look at a map of the U.S., we're at the far western tip of Lake Superior, about two and a half hours due north of Minneapolis, St. Paul. I've been here over 22 years. I'll do whatever I can do to earn your business. This unit's here. It's available. It's the cheapest I can offer anybody. If you want to go south, you want to go have some fun, come and get it. We'll take trades. Also, we have, right past that tree line, there's an international airport. You fly in, I'll come over there, pick you up. This thing here will be in the shop, PDI'd, ready to go, DEF tank filled, diesel tank filled, LP filled. We have no hidden fees. Next year is our 70th year in business here at Bullion RV. We have a huge shop. Probably can't see it right beyond these motorhomes here, but we got 24 service bays attached to that building right there. We're here to help. If you have any questions or if you're interested, feel free to call or text me anytime, day or night, at 218-393-1472. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. 
So anytime we get something new in and we do a video, you know exactly what we have to offer. Stay, stay safe, <laughs> stay safe, stay positive, and happy camping.